There are so many great communities here in the Miami Valley. That's why New Center 7 has launched Seven Seas Your Town. This week we're visiting Xenia. New Center 7's Gabrielle Enright takes us on a tour of this historic city. Welcome to Xenia, a place that I call home. Now this is also the home of New Center 7's Greene County Bureau, where we've been broadcasting live for decades out of this historic building. Dodds Memorials is one of the most recognized buildings in downtown Xenia. The lumber from this building came from the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. It was brought over and constructed. We also have these beautiful stained glass windows that came from Bergamo Center in Beaver Creek. And we are proudly Xenia's oldest business. In business for 157 years, the building on West Main Street has been through a lot. We are the last building standing on this part of West Main Street following the senior tornado. We got one now and it's going down. That tornado happened in 1974. The storm is severe, a massive storm. New Center 7 weatherman Gil Whitney was the first to tell Xenia residents to take cover. It's now moving into the city of Xenia, should take cover immediately. Whitney has been honored by Devil Wind Brewing, a place that specializes in craft beer. Our Whitney Wheat, it's named after Gil Whitney um, because of his work that he did to save, I mean, so many people here during the 74 tornado. Okay, this is kind of neat. There are five fermenters here, and to tell them apart, they've used tornado size. This is F1, that's F2, and look at this, this is F5. If you're in need of caffeine, Coffee Hub has you covered. Sammy? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Ooh, my name's even on it. And right next door is One Bistro, a unique restaurant where you pay what you can. If you can afford to pay more than what your meal is, we ask that you pay it forward so that we can continue to do what we're doing and provide meals for those in the community who can't afford a good meal otherwise. Visitors can work for their meal or attend a free community dinner on Wednesdays. There's always something good, um, and the ice cream is phenomenal. If you're in the mood for Chinese food, Xenia has it. You'll find Mexican food in town, too. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you have a hankering for American favorites, looks good. Nick's restaurant has been serving up specials since 1949. We're known for our award-winning wings, our burgers, all of our sauces, our house-made, all of our dressings. If you have a sweet tooth, we put our whole heart into everything. Sweets Boutique has you covered. We started out as just a bakery, and then uh, we ended up uh, doing lunches. I uh, grew even more and started doing catering. Tina King drove here from Troy to get something for her neighbor. She wanted these cookies. She really loved them, and you know, you go out your way for somebody that you care about. We've shown you so many things you can do here and all the things you can eat. Well, what if you want to see a play in a theater? Well, Xenia has that too. We are continually surprised that people show up to see one of our plays and go, I did not know there was a theater in Xenia, but in fact, we've been operating out of this location since 2007. The actors, actresses, and crew still practice in this building, but the pandemic has forced them to temporarily take their shows on the road where they can perform them more socially distanced. You'd be surprised at the level of talent we have here. And also we put on productions that are really interesting and have uh, that are fun to watch. Also interesting, Xenia Station on Miami Avenue, where you'll find a replica of Xenia's 1880s brick railroad station and a restored caboose, which is available for tours. Hey, how you doing? And from rails to trails, Xenia is known as the bicycling capital of the Midwest. The city's bike paths connect more than 500 miles of other trails throughout Ohio. One of those trails leads you past the Greene County Courthouse. Built in 1902, it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in Xenia. And did you know that in 2014, the downtown Xenia Historic District was listed on the National Register of Historic Places? Well, now you do. Of all the unusual architecture in Xenia, this home stands out. It's the Galloway Log House, and it represents freedom. The Galloway family came up here from Kentucky, and they came up here because it was a free territory and not slave like Kentucky. Many people know Xenia as the place hit by the 1974 tornado. But people here want to change that. They'd rather be known for being hospitable. Xenia, which is the ancient Greek rule of hospitality, is one of the reasons why Xenia is known as the city of hospitality. 
It lives up to that name each year, hosting tens of thousands of people from across the globe for Hamvention at the Greene County Fairgrounds. It's one of the largest gatherings of amateur radio operators in the world. But day to day, over 25,000 people call the city of Xenia home, including me. And we invite you to visit and see why. Gabrielle Enright, News Center 7. News Center 7 wants to see your community. Send us a message on our WHIO Facebook page so we can show off the Miami Valley communities you are so proud of.